government has been betting on is that uh, this uh, the infrastructure spends which they are doing will suck in private investment. But that does not seem to be happening and uh, the finance minister has raised it in industry meetings and uh, the chief economic advisor has told industry you should accept uncertainty this decade and start to invest. What are your views on that? Narendra? No, so uh, I think the past five years, all of us at some point of the other have made points that private investment cycle is still in the cat. So, Beginning of the year. So we come up well. We are saying that the output gap is closing, uh, you know, that um, companies have deleveraged, bad balance sheets have been cleaned up. So we always have, you know, the, everything is in place, but somehow that is not increasing. So uh, on the residential investment side, you do see, uh, you know, in that part of the, you know, investment of the capital formation, numbers, you do see a change, right? But Private corporate investment undoubtedly still has not picked up to the extent that uh, one would uh, have you know, year. So why that is so is perhaps something which is a broader question. But the, I think we all people go. I said you know it's it's. I'm tempted to say that I think this year it will be uh, really improve because everything is in place. But that I think I said that last year and the year before last so. I have to be careful about uh, you know this thing, but yeah, I, I generally agree because I think what Madhuri uh, said earlier is uh, I, I agree with her that there is about three three point one three point one percent of GDP, which is the public capex, and that we went to from revenue expenditure to capital expenditure. I think has been a very important one for the Indian economy, but you can't keep growing. Government can't keep growing capex at thirty twenty or twenty percent in the US. So. Uh, the follow up uh, private investment has to happen at fingers crossed with that. Do you think the government can do anything to nudge the private sector into in, into investment? Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. the, in terms of budget measure. As long as remember, we live in democracy, and I assume that you know you believe in the functioning of markets, efficient functioning of market. I don't think that they can at best just you know probably again signal or send messages to the industry that they are there to support. The private sector, in terms of any kind of uh, you know uh, um, uh, help with regard to uh, you know sort of you know put their investment in order, but I don't think that you can nudge uh, a private sector to necessarily take bets on uh, you know on something like this. It's I don't think the policymakers would do that. That so is it high interest cost? I mean, you said it was a broader question, but is it high interest cost? Is it is that also okay, a deterrent? Right. If I have to put a plan in order, right? I'm I'm putting a 10-year perspective into order. So, obviously, I talk about uh, inflation uncertainty being low, uh, relatively lower interest rate. Uh, when I'm doing an uh, NPV of my investment, I have to think, uh, you know, how what would be my trend growth, because that will lead to the demand assessment. So, I think a lot of these things come into play. And obviously, when you're in, like this year, the election year. There's also, a, I mean, it's election year across the world. Actually, you're going to be seeing a lot of noise in geopolitics, right? Starting from Taiwan, um, so I think, uh, and so last one or two years, actually there has been some bit of a private investment that has happened, even in uh, you know the small and mid-sized companies. But a part of it is because of the compulsive investment that they have to do, owing to sort of waning globalization or deglobalization that we are seeing. So that compulsive investment, uh, on account of this, and of course on account of you know green energy transition that you will see over the years, will happen. But beyond that, any big bets would require relatively more comfortable uh, macro uh, situation in the world and back home. And as I said, that we are entering a relatively more uh, uncertain world uh, on geopolitics on account of uh, the fact that we could see a, see a slower and a crashing growth in the next one to one and a half years. Uh, why would you want to bet on you know, uh, uh, you know, a 10 year project at that time when you might as well get some understanding or some clarity with regard to how the Global and domestic growth could pan out, and and of course, you know, you know, consumption is necessarily not growing to the extent the private sector would have liked it. So all these things, and you know, they have to keep in when this at least the starting point has to be strong for them. And again, it's a ten-year project, right? So I have to do, as I said, uh, assessment of uh, my net present value of the work that I'm putting in at this point in time. So I think they would rather wait than than rush. They've waited for so many years, another seven eight months. <laughs>